Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where four toys gather together on Thursdays at four o'clock to talk about the world of J.R. Token and beyond. Enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You're now the drill, and I hate all on you. Meow. Wow, Susie. Every week you just get more and more snarky. Of course, I like being snarky. <laughs> oh, and uh, today is the, yeah. Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where we don't just celebrate Token, but we celebrate other fandoms. Unless, you know, it's something we hate. And uh, okay. Well, and I'm Humphrey. Who's ready to hit Thanos the Stormbreaker? Why, Humphrey? Why are you asking that question? Because today is Thor's Day. Oh, yeah, it's Thor's Day. That's right. I can't wait to see Captain Marvel punch him in the face. I mean, and I'm pretty sure it's not just going to be a one-time thing. No. I expect to see her face up the Thanos. Mano e mano. It's gonna be the fight of the year. Uh huh. Well, we would do our Toy Avengers theme song, but we got something better, and it goes like this: Roses are red, violets are blue. Watch your back, Thanos. I'm coming for you. I heard about what you did to the Avengers, and I don't like it. You are a megalomaniac who really needs to be punched in the face. So, you better be locking your doors and bolting your windows. Because I'm coming to get you. And believe me, I ain't going to be by myself either. <laughs> wow, Susie, you're just saying exactly what everybody else is thinking. Captain Marvel's coming tomorrow, everyone. I suggest that you stop what you're doing and go watch a movie. Because we're going to be celebrating it on this blog. Yep, just like we celebrated it. Uh, wow, what happened? Last year, we celebrated Black Panther. That wasn't that great. Now this year, it's all about Captain Marvel. Yeah, but they got something in common, too. What? After Black Panther, we had Infinity War, and we all know how that ended. <sighs> I still hate you, Thanos! And then we had... A movie that may look insignificant, but it adds to the broader story. Yep, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Which I really didn't appreciate the end credits thing, because everybody but Scott got snapped to death! Ah! Oh yeah, and, and uh, even better, they had a token white character. All right, we can't forget Evangeline Lally was the token white character. And then she got snapped to death. So, and then we got Captain Marvel. Next is Avengers Endgame. And that's, and then we have Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. What do you remember? There is a token white character in Captain Marvel. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> History seems to repeat itself. Yeah, Lady Pace, who played Ronan in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, is Ronan in the <laughs> and Captain Marvel. See, it's repeating itself. Ah! Well, at least we get to see how and why Ronan went crazy. I know. And Guardians of the Galaxy, he just went straight up crazy. 
It's like, I'm going to cure these cultures. I'm going to blow you all up. <laughs> yep, but he was unceremoniously beaten when Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, and Drax showed him the power of dance and friendship. <laughs> yeah. So what's that mean? Well, basically, Star Lord started to dance, and his dancing distracted Ronan, and then they rocket and Drax felt their gun, and then it shot. They fired it and shot the power stone right off Ronan's hammer, and and then then Star Lord, Gamora, Rocket. And Drax all held hands, and uh, and then they and then they killed Ronan. Whoa! <laughs> yep. And to all those who hate Star Lord for interrupting that plan to get that glove off of Thanos' hand, <sighs> go watch this movie. Go watch the scene where Star Lord dances and distracts Ronan, and then eventually beats him. And they kick yourselves in the pants because you're all idiots. And you better pray that he has his <laughs> star powers with him. Because, <laughs> I mean, what if he has, still had the star powers? Well, then he'd probably use them to get everybody out of the soul world, where they are, stuck. Yes. If he and Peter Parker are not staying singing, another one bites the dust. Ah! <laughs> Which is rather funny because why Cotton Bohemia Rhapsody win an Oscar for Best Picture? <sighs> what a travesty! A travesty! I thought we talked about vindication, Susie. <sighs> it doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm going to be saying it till the cows come home. Bohemian Rhapsody deserved better. Don't worry, people will still be talking about Bohemian Rhapsody and Black Panther. But Green Book will be forgotten about. Yeah, like, hey, what movie won the 2001 Best Picture? Oh wait, I, I don't know! Yeah. You, you probably forgot. Well, I'll just have to go back to the archives to figure that out. <laughs> so, in last uh, 15 minutes, Captain Marvel is going to come out and wait. We have less than 24 hours until Captain Marvel comes out. Don't forget, it's... It's fine. Look, it's Thursday. We got less than 24 hours. And guess what? Why? We're going to be watching it this weekend. Yes! And if anybody wants to post spoilers on our channel, I mean, look, if anybody's watching this show, okay, look, I'm going to backtrack and say this. We're going to be talking about Captain Marvel next week and giving our review. So if you happen to be watching our review show, and you didn't watch the movie, you might as well not watch the show at all. Because there'll be spoilers! Yeah, and uh, cause that episode's gonna be chock full of spoilers. Yep, and if you, <laughs> and uh, so, um, yeah, and the best way, well, I'm surprised that nobody posted spoilers for our Black Panther videos. I know, and I really like the part where we were talking about how Black Panther really changed everything. Yep, and it's about, look, it was about time they fixed, they changed the story around. Such as, oh look, it's Black Panther, yay! Yep, it took them long enough to get Black Panther up and running. I mean, they were going to do it in 2017. Why? Release the Black Panther movie. Yeah. I mean, it would have worked too. But Ant-Man and Spider-Man jumped on board. I'll be a day one on different sides. Of course. 
And of course, Ant Man does become an Avenger, and so does Spider Man. Yeah. And they even had now they even had a couple of comics where Spider Man and Black Panther were together as a team. Oh. But I'm just looking forward to the ones where <laughs> Spider Man and Loki team up sometime. Yep. They really do hang out. <laughs> but we're gonna reiterate what we already know. Loki isn't a bad guy. He just likes to be naughty. Naughty, naughty Loki. Yeah, and besides, you really think he's dead? Mm-mm. The floor is! Loki is not dead! <laughs> and we're all sitting on it. Yes! And it's gonna be great to see Loki again, because... Come on. Well... Yep. Well, I'm wondering. Will Loki and Captain Marvel interact? <laughs> Eventually, I mean, they probably do, but we need more Loki's. Oh God, come on! I just want to see, look. If Captain Marvel doesn't punch Thanos in the face, and uh, Nebula doesn't punch Thanos in the face, I want to see Loki punch Thanos in the face. Wait, you really think Loki's gonna physically punch Thanos in the face? Well. Actually, it's more like Loki started crying. <laughs> you guys tried to kill me. And then, some fun. And then, what did. Yeah, and then, well, whoever friend he makes, he's like, he tried to kill me. He's like, alright, whose butt am I kicking? He's like, that guy over there. It's like, ooh, that big purple skinned dude with the wrinkly chin. And then. New friend says, pushes everyone aside, and gives Thanos the butt whooping he deserves. Woo! Yes! Yes! Yay! I know. And I would really like to hear a bell saying, I hate you, Thanos. Real. Hey, Susie, that wasn't very nice. Come on. And that was a very poor imitation of me. Come on, Bella. I mean, Sammy does it better. You mean Laney? Yeah, and that one, and that one movie that you did. Actually, Laney does it better. She said, I hate you. Yeah, really? What did she do? Well, actually, she did. She said that I hate you, Killmonger. Round. Of course. Besides, I hate that stupid Thanos. You know, but I real my wish list is I really would like to see Venom eat a purple meanie. Yes. Wait a minute. Do we ever talk about Venom? No. <laughs> no, on this show. Yeah, you're right. We haven't talked about Venom yet. Oh, don't worry. We'll talk about him eventually. I know. But we really need to bring back Phantom Fridays. Yeah, I miss that show. Rick talked about every kind of phantom in the world. Ugh, what a tragedy. Oh, and uh, so anyway, since we got off topic, what if Captain Marvel knew a certain Star-Lord? Ooh, and it's gonna be awkward for everyone. And besides, uh, oh, and number two, what if Nick Fury realized that things didn't go right? Why do you know that something bad was going to happen? Well, at the end of the movie, like the very, very, very end of the movie, people started disappearing. And then Nick is like, oh crap, the Avengers apparently didn't do anything. I mean, if they did, they failed. Huh? Time to pull out the big guns. Yes, the big guns. Oh, I'm the proud that Pager still works. Oh, Pager still works. I mean, I really wish we could go back to the Pagers. Yeah, let's bring back the Pagers. Yeah. And, uh, but the good news is, now, 
The moment takes place in 1995. Ugh, 95. And, uh, those pet shop toys <laughs> were completely different, right? Cover team? I don't think so. Why not? Because if you looked at 90s Lola's Pet Shop toys, you'll start screaming. You mean like this? Ah! Oh! 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 Click out! Click out! Click out! Ugh. Lola's Pet Shop toys used to look like that? Oh! I mean, whose idea was this? Sorry, they do, they improved with time. Yeah. <sighs> ah, I never want to see anything like that again. I know. But hey, <laughs> at least we do get that one scene where she beats up that, that grandma. But that wasn't a grandma she was beating up. What was it? It was a monster. <gasps> oh no. A monster? Yeah. More importantly, it was a scroll. Oh, no! Well, she was built for one thing. What? To beat up monsters. Yeah. So that grandma was secretly a monster, or a monster was pretending to be the grandma. Somebody would make a grandma dress up as a monster, or disguise a, a monster as a nice grandma. Bow! What a travesty! Bow! <sighs> Don't feel bad, Susie. It'll <laughs> hopefully that 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 scroll will be taken care of. Yes, and there's scrolls everywhere. Yep, which will con which will bring about the concept of the secret invasion. <sighs> I know. I mean, there's a lot of stories that still need to be told. Like, we need more Loki stories. Yeah, and uh, of course you. <laughs> You gotta have Thor in the story too, yeah. So Thor and Loki go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you can't have one without the other. Yeah, <laughs> a Thor story without Loki would seem pretty boring. So you're saying that, of course, <sighs> Thor without Loki would be pretty boring. I know. <laughs> And plus, there's a couple of memes that say that, um, Thor is a tolerable character played by a nice-looking Australian. Yeah, just something nice to look at until we get the next Loki scene. <sighs> wow. <laughs> well, guess what? We should do... Okay, I'm thinking we should do a show called Tonight We're Going to Get Loki. 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 That's right, we're going to get Loki. Yeah, or we can just take Loki and throw him into your favorite shows, TV shows and movies. <laughs> yep. And then let him go do his chaotic thing and Thor has to come in there and straighten everything out. And then of course, <laughs> cute Katniss smacking him with her face saying, How could you be me to your own brother? And then... Gal be like, dude, why you be so mean to my to our brother? Ah! <laughs> or <laughs> Loki would probably teach Dumbledore a few lessons. Yeah, when that swift kick do the butt kick. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Loki would totally decimate the Lannisters. Oh man. Loki would so kill Jamie and Cersei. <laughs> Even before Bran gets to him. <laughs> ooh, 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 let's do Lord of the Rings. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And as a joke, Loki would take Sauron's ring and say, Oh, Lord, got a pretty ring. Oops, clumsy ring. Ring goes kaplunk into Baldur. <laughs> and uh, or we can make Loki. Well, uh, we're just gonna make Loki do everything, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs>
But Loki and Captain Marvel have to mate at some point. Yep, that's all we agree on. Okay. I know it's supposed to be a Tolkien show. So, let's talk Ronan. Ronan the Accuser. Hmm. Well, whatever he's accusing of, I ain't done it. Mm mm. Look, I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. And you can't prove anything. Yeah. I mean, he. Well, I think in the beginning he was good. Yep, they all start out good. But then somewhere along the line, they start going crazy. Ah. Hmm. I blame Thanos. I hate that stupid purple skin jerk. I know. <laughs> I can't wait till Captain Marvel punches him in the face. But even if she doesn't punch him in the face, I'm just glad that they called her when they did. Yeah, and at first we gotta wonder, what was she doing for the last 20 years? Oh, I don't know. Maybe beating up bad guys in space? Rolling with the Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> and basically, slapping out anybody who dares to be evil. Yes! Because that's what she is. She is supposed to be a superhero. Hooray! Well... <laughs> I think it's time to welcome Miss Captain Marvel to the team. And guess what? This opens the door for so many other stories to be created. Yep, we're still waiting for the Fantastic Four and X-Men. Yeah, even though I'm beginning to lose hope for X-Men. But the Fantastic Four would seem like a welcome addition. Yeah, and plus... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Avengers will gladly assist the Fantastic Four in beating up Dr. Thurl. Yep. I'm pretty sure that'll happen. Yeah. But then, of course, uh, there's a lot of other characters we probably might never hear from. <sighs> well, we probably could hear from Venom. <laughs> but Venom has his own story. Yeah. <laughs> and besides... They're calling Venom an alien rom-com. And I ain't arguing with that. It's a rom-com. <laughs> with <laughs> aliens that live in people's bodies. And they ate tater tots and um <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, huh? I know. Oh. And yes, there will be a Stan Lee cameo. Yep, cuz. Come on. Stan Lee is still wanting to do his Stan Lee thing. Yeah. Well, somebody should dress up as Stan Lee and have a um, cameo. Yeah, come on. Let's keep the Stan Lee cameo train going. All aboard the Stan Lee hype train. Doo -doo. And that's where we'll leave it, folks. Yeah. And besides, here's what we're, we're going through so far. One, Captain Marvel the movie is coming. Two, you better see it. Three, if you don't see it and you watch a review of it, you will have them spoiled. Yep, and we don't do spoilers. Number four. Next week, we're all gonna get Loki. <laughs> Tonight, we're gonna get Loki. Yep. And it's gonna be Pi Day. So we shall do everything dedicated to Pi and Loki. <laughs> and then number five, Captain Marvel's induction into the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to open up so many stories. Yeah, stories left to our interpretation. Well, I certainly can't wait for tonight because we're going to watch that movie and it's going to be good. Okay, everybody, let's close it out. All right. <clears throat> you know who I am, and you know what this is about, so peace. Everybody stay awesome, and we'll see you this weekend. Meow. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>
Mia.